Welcome back, everyone, to Young at Heart, session number 155. I'm Father James DeLucio with the Paulist Fathers, back in the library, ready, willing, and able to offer you... Nursery rhymes, stories, songs, poems, Mother Goose, Aesop's fables, Lois Carroll, limericks, larks, and such to keep you all and to keep me young at heart. Today's selection as we continue with African-American folktales is called The Story of the Four Fools. And it has one very, very specific antecedent. And that one comes from Aesop's Fables. It was one of those that we did not share together. But perhaps I will share next session as a variation. As you know, I like variations and alternate parallel stories. So here we go with the story of the Four Fools. One day... A wizard met a boy who was sitting by the roadside, upset and weeping bitter tears. He asked the reason for his tears, and the boy said, My father's parrot has flown away. If you can find it, I will give you a reward. The wizard summoned a hunter, a carpenter, and a thief. He told them about the lost parrot and also about the reward for its return. They all agreed to do their best to find the parrot. Now, before we start, let each demonstrate our special skills, said one of the four. For the thief, I want you to go and steal an egg from that hen over there without letting the hen know what you have done. The thief went and stole the egg, and the hen did not move at all. The hunter hung the egg up as a target and walked a good distance away from it and proved his skill by hitting the egg. Then the carpenter showed what he could do by putting the egg back together again. They turned to the wizard who could see that each of them had a special talent. The wizard decided that it was time to find the parrot, and he invited the four others to board his ship made of glass. See that vessel over there, he asked. The parrot was stolen by the man on that vessel. The four in the glass boat caught up with the vessel, and the thief boarded it. He caught the parrot, and then he set the table and sat down for a good meal before returning to the glass ship with the parrot. When the men who had stolen the parrot from the king's son discovered that it was gone, they gave chase to the glass boat. The captain of the vessel summoned a storm and sent rain down on the glass boat which shattered, but the carpenter mended it, and the hunter fired away at the rain until the rain stopped. The captain of the vessel sent down lightning, and it shattered the glass ship again, but the carpenter just mended it again, and the hunter shot at the lightning until it stopped. Eventually, the four men reached land, and they took the parrot to the chief's son and said, here is your father's parrot. The boy was overjoyed to have the parrot back and he told the four to choose whatever they wanted from among his possessions. They could even ask <clears throat> for a wonderful hen that lay jewels or anything else they might want. They chose the hen and they went on their way. 
but they had not gone very far before the wizard said, The hen belongs to me, because I told you about the parrot and where it was. The thief then said, No, the hen is mine or I stole the parrot from the vessel. The carpenter then staked his claim, for he had twice mended the ship in which they were sailing. Then the hunter said, It really belongs to me, for I shot at the rain and the lightning. They argued for such a long time and exchanged angry words. Since they could not reach an agreement, they finally did something wildly stupid. They killed the wonderful hen and divided it into four pieces, with each man taking his share. Now, which of these four fools should have been given the hen? Well, obviously, before they cut it up into four pieces. I hope you have a response to that question, for this is another one of those tales that has to do with making a decision. Lessons in Wisdom passed on from African-American folk tales of yore. And I hope you see the similarities to one of Aesop's fables and perhaps other fairy tales as well. Thank you so much for joining me for this. It's not a late night young at heart because although I'm recording it right after the previous one, I'm not putting this up until tomorrow, probably earlier in the day. I'm so clever. Oh, the cleverness of me. Do you know what that story comes from? I mean, do you know what that quote comes from? Which story that quote comes from? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Enjoy your day. If you go out, wear your masks, keep safe, and God bless you, everyone. Bye.